and welcome to our webinar session today on your passport to e-commerce expansion. So thank you for spending your time to learn with us today, wherever you may be. And this webinar is brought to you by Payneer. So my name is Philip and I'll be your host for today. Uh, I'm leading the partnership activities in the Southeast Asia region for Payneer and I'm currently based in Singapore. So our partnership team actually develops strategies and identifies opportunities across the region for collaboration within the payment ecosystem. So having said that, today we are very privileged to have with us two distinguished speakers from Janio and Enchanto. And they will be sharing with us on the landscape of e-commerce and hopefully provide you with some tips and guide in scaling your business globally. Now we will have a Q&A slash panel discussion towards the end of the session, uh, but you can already start to send in your questions during the respective speakers presentations and we will try to address as many of them as possible. So you would see a Q&A tab at the bottom of the screen. So please start submitting your questions as and when you have them. So without further ado, first up, I would like to invite Mr. Brian Ong, the Head of Commercial for Janio Malaysia. So Brian has worked with over 200 SMEs from Southeast Asia for international exports. He has 15 years of experience in e-commerce and is a strong believer in equipping SMEs with the necessary knowledge and capabilities to go global in a sustainable manner. So Brian, please take it away. Hi, Philips. Thank you. Um, hi, uh, I'm Brian Ong, um, Head of Commercials for Janio Malaysia. Um, first of all, thank you so much. Uh, thanks, Payunia, for organizing this uh, meaningful webinars. And also thanks, uh, Anchanto, become part of um, the speaker for today. Okay, uh, let me share the screen now with all of you. Can you see my screen? Yep. Yes. Okay. okay. Let me briefly introduce Janio Asia. Okay. Janio Asia uh, was established uh, in 2018. Uh, we were three years old. Uh, logistics startup based in Singapore. We have more than 150 staff across the region. Uh, our HQ is based in Singapore. We do have offices in Malaysia, um, Jakarta, Indonesia, Philippines, China. We have two uh, offices in China, Shenzhen and also Guangzhou. And recently we set up our office in Bangkok, Thailand. Across the regions, we have more than 80 partners plus more than 20 of origin and destination hubs. From my presentations, you can see on the left-hand side, um, these are our destinations. Our core focus is actually from within the Southeast Asia. And we do actually ship out to um, Asia as well. For example, like um, Thailand, Hong Kong. And um, also recently we launched our latest lane to US. Uh, catering and also targeting for eBay and also Amazon seller. What are we doing? What are the solutions that we offer to our clients? We offer first, we offer cross-border shipping. We offer B2C shipping uh, e-commerce parcels across Southeast Asia and also US. Second, we do offer cash on delivery services. Uh, especially to Singapore and also Indonesia. For Janio Asia, uh, our main core focus within Southeast Asia is what we so-called Golden Triangle, Malaysia, Singapore, and also Indonesia. Third, uh, we do custom clearance uh, in uh, certain countries within Southeast Asia, especially Singapore and also Jakarta. Give you a very good example uh, for Indon for Indonesia, we help um, Air Asia teleport to do the custom clearance in Indonesia. We help some of the uh, uh, SMEs uh, to do freight forwarding in and out from Malaysia. Not only Malaysia, 
basically, as I mentioned just now that uh, uh, we focus on the Golden Triangle Malaysia, Singapore, Indonesia, whereby we can move the goods in and out from Malaysia, Singapore, and also Indonesia. We do transition ma management, regional distribution center, uh, which is a uh, warehousing with our partners and also partnership management with marketplaces across the region, which I will show to you later. What we do in terms of services, we offer end-to-end -end B2B and also B2C services. For example, like any of the merchants, when you receive order from your buyer from overseas, we will directly pick up from your warehouse or office and from the first mile delivery until last mile whereby we would deliver your parcel to your buyer directly. So we offer end-to-end -end services. In terms of technology, we, uh, we actually a, already integrated with a few warehouse management system. We integrate with uh, other management system as well. Uh, for example, like Shopify and also Easy Store in Malaysia. We do offer a real-time tracking system whereby the buyer and seller can track the real-time, the movement and the status of the parcel, transport management system, and also custom clearance. In terms of resources, we do have a fulfillment center across the region with our partner. Customer service, we do have a, a, a quite huge a customer service team based in Jakarta. And we do have our own fleet across the region, in Malaysia, Singapore, and also Indonesia. Shipping with Janio, as I mentioned just now, from the or origin destinations, your warehouse, until the last mile delivery to your customer, these are actually the uh, flow, the hidden flow that Janio will take the responsibility to deliver your parcel to the customer directly. Let me share with you some of our portfolio. Across the region, we are working, uh, Janio is working very closely with Zelengo, Bukalapa, JDID, and also Belibeli. Uh, just for your information, for those uh, who want to venture into cross-border, especially to Indonesia, Janio is working directly with uh, these few famous marketplaces from Indonesia, Bukalapa, JDID, and also Belibeli. For the Western world, Western market, Janio is working closely and directly with um, eBay and also Amazon as well. So aside from, uh, aside from marketplaces, we also deliver for some of the marketplaces across the region. For example, like Zalora from Hong Kong to Southeast Asia, Shopee previously from Indonesia to Malaysia, and also recently from out from South Korea. Some of the brands that we manage in Malaysia, Fashion Valley, Big Bad Wolf, Under Armour, we actually manage for their uh, uh, regional distributors across Southeast Asia. Same goes to Strowski as well. And the rest of the brands in Malaysia, such as the FJ Benjamin, uh, Easy Parcel, and also Parcel Hub. Okay, let me share with you some of the you know, uh, e-commerce insight. Uh, within our website. You may log into www.janio.asia slash resources. We share a lot of um, ebooks pertaining to the market insight uh, within uh, Southeast Asia, for example, like Singapore, Malaysia, Indonesia, Philippines, and etc. We do share you know, the latest developments, uh, operational know-how and articles as well as some of the most important information such as the infographic and also insight uh, duty and tax for certain countries within Southeast Asia. Okay, uh, when you talk about logistics, um, aside from delivery, which is quite straightforward, the most important is you need to understand um, the threshold across Southeast Asia. For example, like if you want to venture into Indonesia, for example, any declarations above USD three dollar duty and tax apply. Same goes to Thailand, Philippines, Vietnam, Brunei, Singapore, and Malaysia. 
Um, the biggest uh, market for Janio is actually Singapore, whereby any declarations uh, below you are uh, sing dollar four hundred, no tax apply. So most of our client, most of our clients actually ship to Singapore, because uh, uh, because of the spending power and also uh, merchant market. Let me share with you some of the uh, um, free grants from the Malaysia government. This is especially for uh, uh, Malaysian merchants whereby you can actually apply for the E-Trade program. Previously, the uh, matrix under the E-Trade program 1.0, they offer 5,000 to any SME or any online merchants that want to venture in, into uh, digital economy. This year, Matred offer another program 2.0, whereby in total, Malaysia merchant entitled for 25,000 ringgit. So for any SMEs that want to venture into uh, e-commerce uh, economy, not only with the marketplaces, they also uh, offering digital marketing activities and also trainings for all the uh, SMEs that want to apply for this grant. So I would advise uh, Malaysian merchants to apply for this grant from Malaysia government to expand your e-commerce business across the region. Next, uh, aside from the uh, Malaysia government uh, under MITI and also Matrade, uh, Slango government, any SMEs or merchants that are based in Slango entitled for this Slango SME digitalization matching grant as well, whereby they actually provide um, the maximum grant of 5,000 to any SMEs or uh, traders, trading company to subscribe to choose their digital service provider to expand your e-commerce knowledge. Back to the partnership with Payunia. Uh, I have the privilege uh, to work with Payunia for the past five years. I was formerly from um, eBay, Malaysia, eBay Southeast Asia, and I've been working very closely with um, Payunia and also Anchanto. So a lot of um, uh, a lot of my clients, general clients, they ask me uh, about the e-commerce ecosystem. The e-commerce ecosystem is a very important element for any SMEs or merchants to expand your business globally. With this partnership, not only that we complete the ecosystem for you, for example, like Anchanto offering multi-channels for you to sell in multiple platforms such as eBay, Amazon, Lazada, and Shopee. Janio to act as your logistic provider as when you receive any orders. And lastly, pay union for you to accept and pay uh, payment accordingly across the region. So these three partnerships, if you ask me, is a, a very comprehensive uh, e-commerce uh, e provider within the ecosystem. Good news for the participant today. Janio is, is collaborating with Payoneer to offer a very, very special uh, logistics special rates to any participant today. So for anyone who's interested to, 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 to engage and uh, apply for this uh, special rates, please scan on the right-hand side, or you may e email to me, brian.ong at janio.asia. if you have any inquiry of any questions. Uh, with this, I would like to end my presentations and I will open to the floor for any questions. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot, uh, Brian. That was really, really very insightful. Uh, okay, so up next, uh, guys do remember to submit your questions in the Q&A tab and then we will, we will collate and then we will have a discussion at the end of the last speaker's presentation. Okay, so up next, uh, allow me to invite Mr. Madanjit Singh. 
So Madanjit is the Chief Revenue Officer at Enchanto, and he's a global technology veteran of 30 years with experience in the evolution of SaaS for retail, e-commerce warehouse, and customer experience oh, management. management. So Madanjit, the floor is yours. Thank you very much, uh, Philip and uh, Brian. Thank you very much. I'll just... Uh, yeah, so, so uh, well, I really like uh, what Brian was saying um, uh, to all the participants is that there are, I would say in the e-commerce world today, there is an external reality, uh, which is essentially COVID and also the customer demand is really going up and we will talk about that. But one of the points I really like where, he, where Brian landed up was uh, the partnership so if you are a new SME or uh, I like, like if I'm going to be setting up a new business for myself and trying to uh, expand globally, what are the things I need to look at? There are, there are a couple of things I need to look at. I need to have a very robust payment solution provider. And that's where Payoneer comes in. I need to have a very robust logistics provider, which will really move the, the product and services through through not only the physical channels, but also make sure that the duties and the VATs, et cetera, are compliant. And the third one is Enchanto, which is essentially in the order management and the warehouse management uh, solutions. So that's really we come in. So it's really a three in a box uh, is one way to look at it. I have, I have called my presentation partners in your success, but this partner is not only limited to Enchanto, it includes Janio and also includes Payneer. That is the point I was trying to make, the first point. The second point, which I think is very pertinent and everybody, every business person's mind is focused on that, that COVID has really impacted cross-border commerce. No doubt about it. Um, you know, uh, and the impact is ultra high air freight cost have, have impacted all businesses. People are buying commercial liner space, wherever it has very, very high cost. So that is also reality. The second one is, a lot of small SME pure plays and D2C e-commerce companies paused or actually stopped their plans to do cross-border, and uh, which is also an unfortunate reality. Only big players could essentially carry on. But this, uh, the, the good news is that this is behind us. Now what is happening is there's a recovery mode which has kicked in. So um, customers are getting used to the new normal and say, okay, here are my expectations. This is what I'm going to do. I'm willing to pay X amount for this kind of services and more capacity is now available. So frankly, the way I see it, there is no better time than to start off your market expansion uh, right now, uh, today. That is the first one. The second point is, which is I think is very important from a, from a functional point of view in your business is, centralized inventory across the region, across the channel, across the various stores and real-time order syncing and orchestration systems. Apologies for using big, big words, but I'm trying to explain that you have inventory in one store, you have inventory in a, in a, in a marketplace, you have inventory in, in another place. You should be able to see all of them as one whole rather than in bits and pieces the ability to list catalog across multiple regional channels is also a very important part of your business. You cannot say, well, I will only go with one particular marketplace. That, that is not. So people have choice and there is a dynamic, uh, vibrant marketplaces out there where people are doing business. And also is that if you're going to be doing expansion to be able to come back and talk to to all of us. And whether you pick up the phone and talk to Philip or email Brian or myself, we will all come back and share it. Now I'm moving on to my slides. I have about four or five slides, but I want to focus on two of them. This is the, the important one, which talks about the technology stack. Um, uh, uh, Philip, are you able to see? Uh, I've scrolled my, it should say technology stack. Is it okay? Yes, yes. Thank I can you. see that. Thanks. Right. So, so essentially, why does the technology stack enable? Because it is like the foundation which links your physical inventory to your systems from, from Philips company and from Brian's company. So this particular, these blocks have to connect. 
So we are today going to be talking about two on the top left-hand corner, order management and warehouse management. But there are others also, which we can possibly talk about maybe at another date. This is about, about Enchanto. So we have essentially, we are growing rapidly. We have almost a thousand active web stores. We do many, many, many um, OMS orders. Our listings are, are going up. And you know every time I, I make the slide, it gets obsolete, as you can well imagine, because the, wor the world is so dynamic in, in our space. This particular slide, which talks about the Enchanto ecosystem, is very useful. And I will give you some time to soak it up. Um, so essentially, if you see that there is sales and operation and marketing operations, there's logistics operations, and there is brand.com, there's marketplaces and retail stores. And also there are suppliers, shipping careers, uh, carriers, last mile, e-commerce providers. And Enchanto is the kind of a, a glue which comes in the middle. And we can talk a little bit more about it. But remember, we focus on two areas, the sales and marketing operations, and the logistics operation. You know, if you look at the retail stores and marketplaces and brand.com, and you have all these, you know, it's like pieces of the Lego puzzle. Think about it like a children Lego puzzle. How do you really put it together for your business is this is one good slide for us to be able to look at it. Um, and it's not only Enchanto, obviously this slide has Enchanto in the middle, but we also have partners as I've spoken about. Um, moving onwards, this is, this is a little bit of an important slide for people who are a bit specialist. You know, uh, when you have a wide audience like this uh, event, you will have people who are new to the business and you have people who are very specialized in the business. So I'm trying to kind of, you know, bridge those two. So if you look at the order management system, which is our OMS, um, which is one of Enchanto's uh, specialty, we have total of about 1,100 customers. Um, uh, and out of which I would say um, uh, many of them have both our order management and the warehouse management. Obviously, these two solutions can, can be sold and implemented separately. So there is no, you don't have to buy them in a combo. It's not like the, the McDonald's Happy Meal that you have to buy it together in the sense. So let me look at the order management system. It has all the, the necessary attributes of orders, inventory, catalog, pricing, promotion, across various marketplaces, web stores, offline channels, and the link up to any of your ERP systems, which is enterprise resource um, planning, your customer relationship um, uh, systems, et cetera. Very important because it cannot be just standing in vacuum. Whereas the, the warehouse management system, which is the one on my right hand, we have all the end-to-end -end supply chain management. So pick, pack, ship flows, replenish, optimize, uh, packing lists, uh, carrier last mile integrations, et cetera. All that comes in the warehouse management. So think about us as us to be the middleware. We are in the middle of one side on my right hand side is the marketplaces like Shopee, Lazada, whoever else you use. And on the extreme left hand side is the enterprise resource planning where you actually order new products and services, do your, your purchasing, et cetera. All that in between, whether it is warehouse management solution or order management systems are essentially our specialty. And we've been doing that for many years, right? Um, uh, one of the things we want to talk about is the various brands which, which we have. So uh, this, this, this list all be, uh, uh, becomes bigger and bigger and bigger. I chose one of them, which has brands enabled by Enchanto SaaS platforms. And you can see a lot of them are familiar. Uh, just to pick up that today, um, after this call, I'm going to be talking to uh, Unilever. I'm also going to be talking to L'Oreal, which is a big French giant, um, HP, um, as, as are important customers and others uh, on this side. On, on the right side, maybe people from Malaysia can remember, um, may, may recall DKSH. You'll have a lot of... Um, um, uh, products in the luxury, uh, retail, um, you know, footwear, etc. So this this is just to give you a sense that whichever industry you are in, whichever vertical, we essentially not only support the brands but support you 
because you in turn support the brands, right? So I will just take a pause and just recap what I've just told you. The first important lesson I told you is that we are in the recovery mode with COVID. So, so it's not the doom and gloom about maybe six months or a year back is actually behind us. So we should be getting ready for market expansion. Centralized inventory management, real-time order syncing up, orchestration systems of entire your, your front end and back end, ability to list catalogs across multiple regional channels, whichever of them, you cannot do it again and again and again. The same one is used multiple of them. And these are some of the things which you must look at it from your business point of view. The second thing I have also uh, explained is that we are specialists in the areas of order management and warehouse management. And third, most important is that we rely heavily onto our partners like Payoneer for, for payment solutions, as well as from Janio for logistics. So together, we are able to provide a very, very good solution for your business. Um, back to you, Philip. Thanks a lot, Madanjit. Thank you so much. And again, apologies for the little interruption earlier on. All right, so let just let me share my screen. Okay, Jen, can you see my screen? Yes. Thank you. Okay, so now that you have heard from our logistics partner Enchanto and our multi listing channel in, uh, sorry, our multi listing channel in Enchanto and our logistic partner in Janio, today I'm going to talk, uh, I'm going to share a little bit with you about Payneer, uh, what we do, how our cross border payments platform can help scale your business globally. So I hope by the end of this session, uh, Payneer will be an option for you to consider when you want to do cross border transactions. Now, the past year and a half has been normal for everyone to say the list, but I think it is also one that is filled with opportunities and validations with the digital trends that we are seeing globally, especially with the increasing online shopping behavior. So what do we do in Pena? In Pena, our mission is really to empower businesses around the world to go beyond borders, limits, and expectations. So we want to enable businesses and professionals from different countries to connect with each other seamlessly and really to capture the endless global opportunities through our cross-border payments platform. So just a little bit of history with Payneer. We were founded back in 2005, a true pioneer of fintech, I would say. So the company was built with a robust infrastructure that places security, stability, and trust at the very core of our DNA. So it's important to note that we are fully regulated and compliant globally wherever we operate. And we have a global team across 24 locations with 2,000 over staff. Now we serve close to 5 million customers and our platform actually helps streamline global commerce for millions of small businesses, marketplaces, and enterprises from 200 over countries. So what that means is also we support multiple languages in the different regions, and we have 24-7 customer service via email, live chat, and phone. Uh, I, I would like to highlight that we deal with 150 currencies with local clearing. So the transactions that are done in a cross-border manner is really very done promptly and as swift as a transaction that is otherwise done locally. So in 2020, our payment volume reached 44 billion mark. So that actually translates to a 53% year-on-year growth. Just also to share a little bit of our recent happening. So in May, we actually announced our global partnership with eBay, wherein uh, we become the exclusive payment provider for eBay, currently in selected countries, but the plan is really to expand to the, all the other regions that are not yet on Payneer. And then, of course, in June 2021, we actually went public on NASDAQ uh, in the US. So... These are incredible milestones for the company and they are definitely not possible without the trust and support of our customers and partners. So we continue to put our 
customers and partners at the core of our business. And we are extremely humbled to be validated by the leading brands across various industries. So our portfolio is something that we are incredibly proud of. And I think this is the same sentiment with Janio and Enchanto in terms of building a very important ecosystem within the, uh, within the landscape. Now, so these partners and customers place their trust with Payneer. So we help them to connect and transact billions of dollars in a swift and secure manner. And they actually come from very diverse industries. So to be closer to our customers, we do conduct our forums annually around the world. Uh, we try to bring together sellers, freelancers, and businesses to discuss about the global opportunities, understanding their businesses, and trying to address their pain point. So in 2019, we held forums in 30 over cities from Malaysia, Thailand, Philippines, to Australia and Japan, just to name a few. This is really to connect everybody within the payment ecosystem and to find ways to support and help each other grow their global business. Now, obviously, in 2020 and 2021, we couldn't visit the places that we want to. We hope that 2022, we can do so and meet up with you guys. Okay, so now that you have learned a little history on Payne, I'd like to share with you what, uh, we, ex what we actually do our, in terms of our products and services. Now, one of the key things that differentiate us from the other payment provider is our ability to support your payables and receivables. So our goal is really to reduce friction that is involved in sending and receiving international payment. So as you can see, our global payment services uh, will allow, will enable you to get a set of <clears throat> receiving accounts for all the major currencies that lets you get paid in different countries. And this is as though you have a local bank account there. Now, this is especially useful when you want to sell on marketplaces that require you to have a local bank account. And having a Payneer account will actually significantly reduce the cost to your payment fees. We also enable our user to request for payments anywhere in the world and their clients will instantly receive several options to pay either via credit card or bank transfer. And we term this as our billing service. Now, once the payments are received in your Payneer account, you can actually use the balance to withdraw it either to your local bank account or use it with your Payneer issued debit card to do purchases. In some countries, you can also receive and pay other Payneer customers directly through our in-network payment. So I think what I want, just want to iterate is we make assessing your funds as simple as possible. And later on, I will share a case study that reinforces our platform's features. So this is just a quick snapshot on uh, what you can do on our platform. As you can see, you can create the various currencies and we will give you a bank account number of the particular bank that we are working with in a particular region. And then of course, you can pay your suppliers and service providers and you can also pay your international VAT if you are selling in the European marketplaces. So Payneer is headquartered in New York, uh, but we do have a strong presence in Southeast Asia. So our regional hub for Southeast Asia is in Manila, Philippines, and we also have an office in Vietnam. So we are currently serving clients from Philippines, Singapore, Thailand, Vietnam, Malaysia, and Indonesia. And across the region, 80% of our clients are actually online sellers in the e-commerce space. And Amazon is actually their go-to marketplace for their products. The remaining 20% of our clients make up of service providers. So they could be your business process outsourcing companies to corporate services. So the companies you see on this slide are just some of our clients in Malaysia and Thailand and that we have helped them with the payment solution. So now I would like to share with you a case study uh, for one of our Malaysian Amazon seller and how they actually use our platform to get paid by Amazon Singapore. So you have successfully made a sale on Amazon Singapore and you are about to be paid in SGD. Now, all you need to do once you have signed up for a Payneer account is to add the SGD currency on your Payneer platform. 
we will then generate a sing dollar account number for you for which you can provide to amazon to pay for your sales in sing dollar now sing dollar is just one of the many currencies that you can add so as i've mentioned earlier uh we support all the major currencies from Japanese yen, US, Euro, British pound, Aussie dollar, just to name a few. Now, once you've received the funds in your Payneer account, the sales proceeds from Amazon, uh, what do you do? Well, like I mentioned earlier, you can either transfer the funds to your local bank account in your currency. In this particular example, you'll be in a ringgit currency in the Malaysian bank account, or you can choose it you can choose to use it with the debit card that allows you to withdraw from any ATM. You can pay for your Facebook ads, or you can even do online transactions with the, uh, with the card. So the ways for withdrawal are really direct and straightforward, and we make it really seamless and smooth for you to access your funds. Now, don't just hear it from me. Uh, this is a testimony of one of our long-term clients, uh, Mr. Kokmandi. He's the founder and managing director of Luxurious Craving based in Malaysia. And I would like to share this video with you to see to for him to explain to you how Pena has helped his business transactions to be smooth and seamless and their business to expand globally. So just enjoy this very short clip. Hello, uh, I'm Kamal Lee. Uh, I'm the founder and managing director for Lazarus Curing and we are based in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Lazarus Curing basically is an online platform. It's an online e-commerce that sells authentic luxury goods. Okay, Lazarus Curing was established in year 2012 where me and my wife, Kreeny, started off. Uh, we wanted to bring affordable luxury brands into Malaysia and Southeast Asia. Initially, we started our home uh, Facebook fan page which is called Lazarus Curing not fast enough not big enough so me and my wife really we talked about hey why don't we start our e-commerce website and we started amazon account us back in end of year 2015 and then all of a sudden we really did not expect the sales coming in every day and then even we get orders from japan amazon europe amazon australia the challenge that i'm facing when selling amazon.com is that getting the payment from Amazon Seller Central uh, um, because Amazon has a policy that they only transfer their payments into local US bank account so what I do is that we are, I went to uh, Amazon Exhibition Fair and then from there I get to know Payoneer they are the uh, Amazon trusted service provider to receive payment from Amazon back to uh, international reseller what they do is actually uh, Pioneer create a local bank account local bank account whether it's in US or in Europe or in Japan then Amazon transfer the payment into this local bank account then they will transfer internationally to my local bank account in Malaysia so Pioneer is actually very easy to use and then just one click button away to transfer your payment into your local bank account within two to three business days that's how easy it is. Okay, and with that, uh, thanks for the joining us today. Uh, the sharing I've done are just some of the highlights and capabilities of the company. Uh, it's important to note that we have invested a lot to become truly global and we are proud to be a trusted brand and market leader in the payment space for the past 16 years. So if you have not already done so, please do sign up for our Payneer account for free. Uh, if you want more information, please visit our website or you can just scan the QR code right here to sign up instantly. And with that, uh, let's move on to our Q&A session. So just give me a minute. Okay, so I think we just addressed a few questions that were that were sent in earlier. So um, I think this is to 
Brian and Madanjit, right? So somebody asked, does Janio or Enchanto deal with customs when we want to send product in bulk quantity to Singapore? Okay, let me address this question, yeah? Okay, yes, we, we uh, as I presented just now, we offer end-to-end -end, uh, solutions whereby we will pick up from, from the SME or merchants and send directly to your buyer. Let's say, for example, that if you send below 30 kg, then we will consider this as a B2C shipment direct. If you want to send in bulk quantity, which is above 100 kilo, for example, and then we will help you to do the custom clearance as well and deliver to your customer in Singapore. No issue. Because for, for example, like for bulk quantity, we also have one of our our clients have a big bag with Singapore buffet, we have them to deliver uh, the uh, parcel in bulk to the Singapore buyer as well. Yes, we do end-to-end -end services. Yeah, I would I would say, uh, Philip, that uh, Brian would be the, the specialist in this. Uh, we have we have many customers, and when they ask us this, we always work with uh, John Yu. Got it, thanks. So, so then I guess um, maybe Madanjit, I can ask you this, like how can businesses select the right technology to achieve their desired growth, whether be it uh, to scale globally or to increase their sales for that matter? Uh, yeah, uh, uh, absolutely. Thank for that, Philip. So essentially the good part of technology is once you build right and you have the good uh, infrastructure and partners, uh, you can scale anywhere. In the sense, and we have seen that if you look at you know Amazon and all over these people, uh, a couple of years back they were they were pre um, only North America. Now they're everywhere. So coming back to the point from and uh, technology player like Enchanto, we essentially look at order management and warehouse management as the key components to the business. Obviously, there are others which uh, which are about payment and logistics, but I am more focusing on that. So if you if you if you choose right now when I use the word choose right you must have three things. The first one is software as a service solution. That means a solution will will grow with you. You don't have to pay a lot of money upfront. You can essentially pay as you grow with that, and that is called software as a service. Uh, the second one is that it should be the best in class of the components they use. And the third most important one is they must have very, very good post-service support, which is account management. So those are the three things. So it's not about after the sales experience, it's not about trying to sell you more, but to be able to make use of what you got. So we've got a whole team, uh, not only of software developers, about 150, 200 of them, but all our customers, and I should have said upfront, our customers are right across Southeast Asia. We have an office in Singapore with the headquarters here, office in Malaysia, Indonesia, Philippines, Vietnam, Thailand, a joint, a joint venture partner in Korea, an operations in Australia, an operation in Middle East. So we are kind of pretty well covered. And we have, like I was saying, 1,100 customers from all over, the, all, all over there, including Europe and the US, which are coming in. So why are they coming in? Because they like the business model, the, the software as a service, Enchanto, order management and warehouse management will scale up as you grow. The second more important point is that we are best in class of what we do. And the third a more important uh, point is most important one is after you buy a solution, how is the company going to be working along with you to be able to get you to use what you've got? Right. So back to you, Philip. Thank you so much, Madanji. Definitely agree with you. I think the post sales after you buy the solutions, the post sales support and service is very important. And that really, that really will decide the sustainability of this particular solution that you have just gotten. So I guess the next question uh, is to the both of you, like, um, what are some of the major factors that one should consider when they want to expand their businesses 
cross border. So they want this is the first time, probably the first time that they are trying to bring their business global. They've been selling domestic for the longest time. What are some of the key advice that you would give them in terms of the factors to really take note of and to consider to to plan prior to doing so? Okay, I can I can go uh, first with uh, Brian's uh, permission. Um, I would say that I always like to have a conversation with business owners who kind of are able to share with us what is their current business and what are their future business ambitions. If they are able to do that, then we are able to make necessary inputs as to what are the things they should be looking at. More importantly, give them examples of customers who have been on the same journey with us possibly get to talk to some of our customers. So this is not about trying to sell you anything, is to be able to say that we kind of come in as more business advisors. Once that particular area is done, then say, okay, uh, we understand what uh, both of us are saying. What are the other, how do we really start on this one? That is the time where we kind of look at, okay, today, where are your warehouses? Um, what do you do with your order management systems? Um, uh, which are the systems you connect to, uh, where do you wish to go, who are your suppliers, and we essentially have a whole team who essentially help you to do this. Um, I, I'm, I'm uh, sending it to, to Brian if he wished to add up from his experience uh, what, what um, customers might, prospects might look like. Mm, okay, uh, my second advice will be, um, do your own market research because based on my experience, you know, grooming a lot of uh, sellers from eBay, I noticed that a lot of sellers are uh, in hurry to, to, to expand their business globally, you know, to, to US, to UK, to Australia, et cetera. I would advise them to do market research based on their products. Because for example, like, you know, uh, you are selling certain products, which is you have a demand in US but not in UK and also Australia, whereby it will be a waste of time for you to focus on those countries or market whereby your product has no demand first. Second, be focused in only in one country, one step at a time. Based on my experience, a lot of, uh, especially eBay seller, whereby we want to, they want to sell globally, but they do not understand what is the logistic behind. For example, like your shipment to US will be different rates your shipment to Latin America or Africa will be different rates. So this will make them confused. And at the end of the day, they are actually a, uh, uh, making a lot of business because of the uh, logistic rates. So I will, advise that, I will advise most of the SMEs here to go for your first step. Don't be shy, you have nothing to lose. Just expand your business globally in one particular marketplace, in one particular country, do your research and go ahead. Thank you so much, Brian. Thanks, Madanjit. Uh, the next question we have from our attendee is uh, specifically to Brian. So uh, they would like to find out if there is any minimum shipments to kickstart with, uh, reason being the product is of low margin groceries product. So what is the minimum shipment that Janio needs to have before they have? And uh, another question so that you can answer this after that would be, does Janio handle shipping and logistics from China to the US? Um, okay, uh, for your first questions, um, for these collaborations with uh, Payne and also Anchanto, we offer uh, minimum pickup, uh, which means that if they say you have one parcel, two parcel, on our side, we will still go to your place, pick up and deliver to the buyer. So there is no minimum and maximum as for now. Okay. For the second question, uh, yes. If let's say, for example, you want to ship from China to Amazon, FBA and US in bulk, then yes, we do have, uh, as I mentioned just now, we do have two offices in China, Gongzhou and Shenzhen. Uh, I can link you to our colleagues in China to further discuss on the bulk shipments from China to US. Uh, Amazon FBA. Yes, we can do that. Okay. Uh, Brian, a follow-up question. So is Janio's shipping rate competitive as compared to the others? And for this particular instance, from China to US, how competitive is Janio's shipping rate? Um, for From China to US, it's also depending on the 
weight, as I mentioned just now, if it is by bulk, uh, our minimum is 100 kg for B2B. As for B2C, uh, the direct uh, e-commerce parcel from China to US, uh, currently we don't have such services as for now. But however, our rates across the region, Malaysia, Singapore, and also Indonesia, our race is quite competitive, I would say. And uh, with uh, the participant today, Janu is going to offer a special rate to all of you. Okay, you. so participants, please. Uh, after I think after the session, we will send we will we will send the respective presentations deck, and then I think embedded of which uh, in Brian's deck, there is a QR code that you can scan so that you can just sign up for your Janu account if you have not already done so. Uh, okay, so. We would just have like one or two questions more. I think uh, Madanjit, how Enchanto helps brands and retailers to implement a direct to consumer strategy? Can you share a little bit about that? Yes, absolutely. Uh, so essentially a lot of our customers are essentially looking at the direct to consumer um, play because they, they essentially want to have a direct uh, connect. Uh, and that essentially uh, builds on their marketplace um, persona. So for example, if you have a marketplace and you have your product placements, you have your pricing promotions, all of them actually provide you that last mile, uh, the last mile from a digital point of view. The physical last mile is logistics, etc. So depending on, uh, you know, it is very, um, uh, not very easy to explain it in, in, in direct terms, but if you look at uh, some of our um, uh, customers and you look at our customers like L'Oreal or Kuti or Wacol, who are essentially in the luxury apparel, uh, perfumery, consumer product good, all of them are actually uh, are creating their own marketplaces or working along with marketplaces like the big ones, which we have spoken about, Shopee, Lazada, and there are many more. Um, I, think, I think it is important for us at the right time to be able to either have a conversation with me and we can explain it in, in your own uh, specifics or our website actually have a lot of case studies. So I think it's easier just writing a mail to us at business at enchanto.com and, and we will get, get back to you uh, quickly on that one. We, are, we, have, uh, we have a specializing in this area and also we've done it for very, very uh, brands which are not only the, the multinationals, the, the medium as well as the small one. Um, one of the things I wanted to, to, to really um, uh, share is that I would say most of our customers are essentially in the commercial uh, categories. These are not necessarily small customers, but they start with a small and they grow with us. And we have seen that for the last three years, a lot of customers have, have grown with us. Our website has uh, lots and lots of our references. Um, which are there and the, uh, the, the, in each market, whether it is Malaysia, Singapore, Vietnam, Thailand, Indonesia, we've got local references and also the, the big ones. Uh, so come and talk to us would be, would be uh, you know, in, uh, uh, before the lockdown, we could say, come and have a coffee with Madanjit, but sadly we can't do that, but we can at least have a, a chat over the phone um, and to be able to uh, provide you the information. Thanks, Madanjit. Uh, one last question for, for myself, for Pena. I think uh, our attendees would like to know, do we only handle international transactions and can they use the Pena account to do transfer to friends or relatives? So um, unfortunately for Pena account, this is not a service we provide in terms of transferring to your friends or relatives. So for Pena, it is suitable for cross-border business payments with underlying trade transactions and not personal money transfers. So this is, uh, this is something that is very important. Uh, so broadly speaking, you'll be eligible to use Payne if you fall into these categories, right? So if you are a freelancer or service providers and you are getting paid by your clients or by your marketplaces for professional services that you offer, you are an online seller, so as what I've shared earlier, you sell on Amazon, you sell on eBay. 
we will be able to support you with the Payneer account. SMEs, if you do B2B direct, and of course, we do have our marketplaces and enterprises as well, wherein you need to do mass payout to your clients. So for example, Shopee, Lazada, they are our clients as well when they need to pay out to their merchants. So yeah, so important to note uh, for Payneer, we are only supporting business transactions that is done in a cross-border manner. Yep. Uh, I think that's the time. That's all the time we have for today. Uh, so sorry that we can't get to all the questions. But like what Madanjit and Brian mentioned earlier, please feel free to reach out to us respectively if you have any questions that is specific pertaining to us. Uh, so thank you again for joining us. Thanks, Madanjit, and thanks, Brian. Uh, this was a very informative and a very engaging session. Uh, and we look forward to having you guys with us again for our next webinar.